have uh, with us uh, Dr. Hans Karens, who is uh, the founder of Bio Vision and uh, the Lake Institute, and also was the co chair of the IWS and uh, the report. So, thank you very much for making time with us, and uh, welcome to Nairobi. Thank you. Um, so, the main core of why we're here is because of the agroecology conference. So, what have been your thoughts about uh, the agroecology conference? What are some of the actual steps that uh, people from the African nations, people at large, can be able to do to actually scale up? Thank you. Uh, very happy to be in Nairobi, uh, back in town again. I uh, spent 11 years in this country uh, running yeah. ECP, so uh, it was very nice very to, to come back and I, mean, I come back regularly. Um, this uh, conference on agroecology and also reduction of the pesticide uh, in agriculture is very, very timely. It's been just about 10 years that the UN Commission report on agriculture, which will be international assessment of agricultural knowledge, science and technology for development, uh, had been uh, published. And uh, the call from the 400 authors of this report, including many people from Africa, uh, was to transform agriculture towards agroecology and actually transform the whole food, sy food system to more sustainability. So we decided uh, uh, to have a conference uh, to discuss sort of a little bit of where are we with the development of agroecology following this call for action already 10 years ago, which by the way was signed uh, and endorsed by Kenya and 16 other African countries uh, and about 50 others uh, on a global scale. So th this conference has actually addressed uh, the issue of do we have enough evidence uh, to make agroecology the mainstay of uh, agricultural policies uh, in Africa. Uh, because there's a lot of discussion out there on how are we going to uh, nourish uh, the, the continent with its growing population, uh, develop different needs, and also in face of the challenges of the climate change, for example, uh, in addition to all the other problems which we, we have. So um, I think from what we heard and what we knew even beforehand, Yes, agroecology can produce enough food uh, for a, a growing population in Africa in the face of the challenges which uh, uh, will come yeah. from climate to uh, changing needs, for example. Yeah. So, so we know that. So the evidence is there. Yeah. Now the question is, uh, how do we bring the evidence to the policy makers and decision makers? Yeah. And uh, here again, uh, we have decided to come down with a list uh, of ac actions which can be taken yeah. uh, as a matter of urgency uh, by policy makers. And uh, so we also expressed what we want and what we don't want yeah. in terms of policies. And I think one of the, the biggest elements of this policy is to make sure that governments start to invest yeah. uh, their funding yeah. and also convince the development partners to put their funding into agroecological research and development and yeah. extension. Yeah. Uh, unless we have more research, uh, um, and, and in particular more extension of what we already know, towards the farmers, include them in the whole process of developing new technologies and new science, and new knowledge, things will not work. So we know we need a new emphasis, uh, a very strong one, uh, in promoting agriculture as the only, the only uh, practice which will uh, uh, take care of the uh, challenges uh, which Africa, but the same in the rest of the world, will face uh, in, in the coming uh, decades. So I think, um, uh, we can be quite happy with the, the results of this uh, conference and now the, the job of the organizers, the job of all the people who participated will be to bring this message to the stakeholders and decision makers at many different levels from the local to the, to the regional to the national and even international uh, attention so that the transformation will happen without any delays. Climate change is coming, we have more and more uh, problems with climate change, or, uh, extreme weather uh, patterns, yeah. droughts and floods. Yeah. So the, 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 one of the main tenets of agroecology is actually resilience. Yeah. And that's what we are trying to build more and more. Yeah. So it's, it's very interesting because on your presentation, one of the things you insisted was uh, you can't continue to do business as you do. So what, what does that statement really bring out? So yeah, the report, uh, the IASTD report, as we call it, or Agriculture at the Crossroad, had uh, the big banner was business as usual is not an option. Yeah. And that meant that we need to transform and change the paradigm behind agriculture from an agriculture which is based on external inputs, yeah. like a fossil fuel, um, uh, fertilizer, pesticides, that this has no future in a world of, of limited 
natural resources. Yeah. And, uh, and that's why we said we need the transformation of the system. Yes. And I think that uh, we have reached a point now that we actually can really do it if, again, we can convince our policymakers uh, to, 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 to jump uh, the gun, as we say, and uh, uh, stop listening to the few vested interests which are blocking the way of the transformation. And I think this is the big thing right now, is that many development partners are still in the old paradigm. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the big foundations, and I can mention Agra, for example, here based in Kenya, yeah. which is still dealing with the old paradigm and actually blocking yeah. the transformation of what we want to see. Yeah. Uh, and that includes many of the major donors, actually, who still decide outside of Africa what is good for Africa. It's time that Africa decides for itself what it wants without the interference of those vested interests which are very much present here in, uh, in, in Africa. Yeah, very, very, very straight and you know, straight to the point. And um, you obviously could share the IWS to be report. Um, what is what is the state of actually execution of the report? Where are we? Or what are some of the steps that are being taken to address? So the report, when it came out in 2009, was basically maligned quite a bit, uh, in particular by, certain, by the countries which had a, a big interest yeah. in promoting or further promoting a green revolution. And uh, that's, um, um, so basically the report since then yeah. didn't go very far in terms of influencing uh, FAO, for example, the UN Agency in Charge of Agriculture, yeah. uh, nor no. some of the major donors like the World Bank, for example, yeah. um, uh, or the African Development Bank, none of which actually ever used the report to influence their own internal uh, policies. Yeah. Yeah. But what was very important is that the NGO world has adopted that report yeah. as, as their report. Yeah. And they have been really pushing uh, 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 for agroecology, for organic agriculture. Yeah. Um, they have been pushing some of the country of donors also to change uh, their view on, on what they need to fund. Yeah. So I think the report has, has created a, a mass movement from bottom up. Mm. And 10 years later, we can see that even FAO is now talk, uh, talking agroecology. Um, some donors are coming around and, and talk agroecology and will fund agroecology, uh, like the Swiss Development Corporation, for example, who really has concentrated most of their funding into agroecology. Yeah. So some of them have come around. Uh, many uh, remain to be convinced, and I think that this conference here uh, uh, is also partly or has as an objective to, to convince uh, the, the people out on the margins still today to uh, uh, come more and more into the fold and looking at agroecology as uh, the new paradigm for sustainable agriculture and food systems. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, as we finish up, huh? so one of the things that we can take from this conference is that there is an urgent need for us to actually. Um, adopt and rest agroecology for us to be able to move forward as a society. So, you know, from uh, we want to hear from your own perspective and from your, your own words. Why is there an urgency for us to adopt this? So the, the, the urgency which was mentioned at the meeting, and I, I like to come back to this issue that we can't wait much longer yeah. because the present agricultural model contributes to, 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 its, to, to, to its demise yeah. by by furthering. Uh, a climate change, for example. Um, we know it's not sustainable, it is linked to more deforestation quite often, yeah. uh, it is linked to the use of fossil energy, which all basically contributes to climate change, which affects agriculture. So you can see that we are in a, in a negative spiral yeah. down. So, so right now, there is this urgency to, to, to make the big changes, not the small ones. Um, if not, I think we're going to miss the boat. We know that we're going to probably miss, well, most probably, the 1.5 degree average temperature increase. Yeah. In many areas of the world, it's going to be 4, 5, and 6 degrees more, uh, which will make agriculture very, very difficult. Yeah. In Kenya, for example, it will mostly, most probably dis displace your coffee production, even your tea production. Yeah. But what are you going to do if, that you can do, do, if you can't do that here? Now, sure, uh, Kenya is not the culprit yeah. for the, the, the main problem with climate change, but Everybody now has to transform. Everybody has to contribute to the change which is needed. Yes. And uh, we can't wait yet another decade of, of thinking or asking yourself, yeah, is it really that bad? I mean, do we really need to do something or is it going to go away? Yes. It won't go away. We need to really strongly uh, uh, say we w will contribute to the transformation because we want to be part of the solution yes. of uh, the problem in agriculture and not continue to be part of the problem. And that's why we have to reject 100%. Anything which comes with, with, with uh, an agriculture which is based on the old 
bankrupt uh, 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 science and technology and philosophy yeah. Yeah. of the Green Revolution. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for your time. Good. And, uh, I hope it pleasure. will uh, uh, kick some butts. <laughs>